Calamary salutations everyone, Squid here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents, and as promised we're going to battle Xavier in this episode, so without further ado, let's do it. Okay, here, here to battle, sweet, he's not, he's not high at all. And he has a surprise up his sleeve. Okay, let's find out what it is. So here's Xavier bringing out Delta Metang as soon as possible. It's a bug ground type, so let's flame charge it. It's super effective and it deals nothing. So he's going to set up Stealth Rock on my face. And now he sets up the Sticky Web. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this battle started real nice. Okay, Metang's down. Good. What's next? Um, Heracross. Okay, uh, I can still deal with the Heracross because I'm faster. Yes. Earthquake. Oh. Ouch. I mean, <laughs> what can I do to this guy? Um, I didn't want to expend Wing uh, Pelipper right away because I need it for something else but I mean I guess I have to um, please hit oh he's choice locked maybe he is okay uh, good info to know so Heracross is choice locked uh, Gengar ooh ooh how do I do this? Um, I need to bring this guy. What's he going to do? He's going to Thunderbolt, probably. If he's going to Thunderbolt, I can bring in the Excadrill. Willow. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, I mean, what can I do? Let's just unclaws. What? I mean, how is this a forest theme and this guy has a Gengar? Um, let's knock off. Okay, this won't deal much. Focus Ash, okay. Uh, good info to know. Okay, we knock off the Tentacruel, that's also nice. And it also has a um, Focus Ash. So this guy is breaking, he is out there breaking sleep, uh, item claws. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I think the best one to deal with the Tentacruel is the Hexel Rose. The XU. Um, since it. Uh, I learned its defense, right? Maybe not. But I, I think Dragon Claw is still the best. <laughs> no, no, a Dragon Claw is actually not the best. <laughs> Um, let's just go into this. Uh, I'm still a pure poison, right? Right. Uh, so let's bite. Yeah. Yeah, I think we won't be able to see uh, further than the tentacle. That's how it is. Um, how do I deal with the webs? Because with webs, uh, Excadrill will be a lot slower than a lot of his mods. So I have to... Whoa, Mirror Coat. Dude. Yeah, okay. So... Mm, how will we do this? We gotta get rid of the webs some way. I think. Uh, I'm gonna investigate a little bit. Be right back. So, through the magic of editing, we're back. And you might notice something different on the team. Yeah, I've evolved uh, Nidorina. Because it finally learned Toxic Spikes. And um, in another battle, I could use the Toxic Spikes. But this battle, I can't. Um, here they are, okay, uh, because 
Uh, he has a lot of poison types, so I won't be able to use those. Uh, I got Body Slam also. Uh, it's a nice attack to have on Nidoqueen. Uh, and it might net me some paralysis in case I prefer that to the um, to the poison, which I might pre which I might prefer this battle. And another thing to note is that X you learned the Dragon Dance, so I'm thinking of leading X you actually uh, because he will lead with the Mat Matang. And uh, when he sets up the, his hazards, I will set up the Dragon Death on his face. And hopefully that will net me 2 or 3 kills or something like that. Hopefully. Uh, I, I'm not banking much on Exu, actually. Um, next, uh, we still have the spam. Uh, yeah, uh, 35 is the maximum level I can have my team. And the uh, next thing is that uh, War Turtle learned Dark Pulse. So that's another ne very neat attack that I can use against Xavier. Uh, mainly he's Gengar. So quick save and let's try to do this once again. Alright, so he's gonna set up uh, Hazard. So I will Dragon Dance. Sticky web, okay. We got the first off. We'll get the second one off. Please, Stealth Rock, yes. Great. Um, three off. And he's Toxin Spiking. And we'll get another one. I just want to make sure I hit the uh, Matang uh, for as hard as possible. And I still can't kill him like that. Okay. Um, okay, but we'll, we're making him expend at least a super potion. Uh, he still has a, an hyper potion. And let's see how much we deal. Oh, we couldn't kill it. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Uh, so, we know this guy is choice locked, so we can do this. Um, actually, let's try something. Stockpile. Okay, he healed back up. Um, yeah, he withdrew because he knew <laughs> he was in quite the pickle. Uh, oh, that held nothing. Oh, yeah, that the cruel is a special law. Um, how do I do this? Um, I think I'll pivot into this. Uh, he still has another poison type, so I can't really do much. But I can body slam, I think. Yeah, of course he gets the burn. Of course. Um, yeah, let's just let Nidoqueen go down. Okay. And now we can go into Breakneck. Uh, he's going to attack first. We're going to spark him. Yes, that dealt a good chunk. Still not enough to to kill the Tentacruel though. Uh, yeah. Um, we have to do this and we knock off. Because Vacuum Wave wouldn't be enough. Okay. So, what does he bring now? The Heracross. Oh, I can deal with this guy now. Can I? Um, yeah, because my best switching to this was the Needle Queen, if he didn't Earthquake. Uh, let's just Vacuum Wave for some chip. Yeah, he Earthquakes. Okay, so he locks himself into Earthquake once again. I can use this to go on Pelipper. We'll heal him yeah okay and he goes into earthquake once again that's nice and uh, uh, are we two-thirds no so it's better to heal the pelipper a bit more yeah ok 
Okay, like this. What does he do? He withdrew. Okay. Krogank. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, he... Mm, he basically dies to an air cutter, so... Not that worried. Uh, I'll try the quick attack so I don't get... Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was not part of the deal. Oof. Yeah, okay. So now... <laughs> he still has the Gengar. Okay. Um, I'll... S oh, he will... No, he won't Willow. Because I'm poisoned, right? He will try to hex me. Um, Venusaur. Okay, that works too. Uh, so I can dig. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I think. Oh, Gengar still has levitate. No. Oh, oh, oh. Um, will meta claw. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, that well, nothing. Uh, let's metal claw. Okay, he goes for the close combat. Um, we can try and do something with that, I think. Because I... <laughs> Help! Rocks are killing me! Okay, um, I'm still alive for now. Oh, God. Uh, I'm not alive anymore. So, we'll have to go for a little bit of a change of plans. So, going back to the drawing board meant uh, grabbing Azumarill. So, let's he say hi to Azumarill. Uh, we saw that it had uh, a huge power. Which is a huge advantage. And we'll use Aquatail basically to try and demolish Metang before it tries to set up uh, funny stuff on us. Uh, one problem is that I'll be a little bit more uh, prone to be killed by Tentacruel. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so let's try again with Zumura. Alright, so hopefully Zumaril just deletes my tank after the self rock. Yes! Oh! Uh, that crit might have mattered, I don't know. Uh, so he's going to go into the Gengar, I'm going to go and Aquatel him and deal nothing because I'm burned! Nice! Uh, he's going to Hex me or Vino Shock? Uh. I'd bet he hexes me, and if he does, the best way to deal with that is going to the War Turtle, actually. So let's do that. Venusaur. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Uh, let's Dark Pulse. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Ah. Oh. Uh, so, in order to deal with the Gengar... Physical attackers, no. <laughs> um, yeah. So what we'll do is just metal claw the Gengar. Guys, new meta. Wall Gengar. Yes. Wall Gengar demolishes teams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Especially if they're all physical. Should have let the Zumeril go down there. Um, yeah, we have to... Yeah, I have no way to deal with the Gengar, do I? I mean, I can only see Blitzel, uh, like, going for this. Yeah, that dealt nothing. We'll spark him and still deal nothing. Yeah! <laughs> So this one was quick. He missed the Will-O-Wisp! Finally some luck! Uh, too bad it came when my team is already all dead. Yeah! 
have no way to deal with this guy. <laughs> now I get the burn. Uh, uh, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, this is trial number two with Azumarill. Uh, let's see if the Aqua Tail still demolishes him. Yes, uh, we get another crit. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I got... Okay, so now he goes for Gengar. He will Willow. Okay, can I do something to counter that Willow? Uh, I think we can. We go into War Turtle. He hexes. Okay, that also works. Will Dark Pulse? Yes, okay. So that's a, some good damage. And now he he's going to hex. Explosion? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Ugh. Okay, uh, what will he do now? He'll probably go into the tent. The tentacruel is the most menacing mon on my team. So to beat him, I'll go into the Blitzel. Heracross. Um, he's going to lock himself into Earthquake, I hope. Close combat. Ouch! Ow! No, you were supposed to lock yourself into Earthquake! Uh, at least I can do this. Okay. Um, now what we'll do... Still beats the crap out of me. Ow. Why didn't you go for Earthquake? Earthquake was free! Um, I mean, he, he just switches into Tentacruel and I can deal nothing. Ow. Ouch. Oh. Oh, he brings it the way drill. Nice. So, you see when he told us he had a surprise at his sleeve? This is it. Yeah, he has a Mega Beedrill. And Mega Beedrill actually has no switch ins. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> I can deal with this. Um, so, what do I do? Okay. Keep cool. Um, do I survive a hit? Uh, he's going to drill run. I mean, can Excadrill do it? Let's see. Yes, we survived! Oh, nice! Let's go, Excadrill! Putting, putting in work! So now there's this guy. Uh, we'll dig. Uh, no, we won't, because he just. Oof! Um, so how do we do this? Um, we'll go into this. We'll air cut. He's faster. No. Ah. I pooped up. Full spark. He paras. He bolts. Okay. Um... In order to be faster than the Tentacruel, we have to Flame Charge. He bolts up again. Uh, he'll heal, won't he? Yeah, okay. Um, I think we can go for this part. Sucker. Um, we'll go for a quick attack. <gasps> no! Yes, he paras! We have to heal because we can take another sucker to the face. He 
drain punches. No, you weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to be smart. Oh, no. This is trial number three with a zoom reel. Um, this, uh, so, I think last trial actually went quite nice, so I decided to go for it once more. And he only set up uh, Stealth Rocks. Okay, Stealth Rocks will hinder the um, Caliper. So, what are you going to do? You're going to Willow. You're going to Willow. Just Willow. I know you want to do it. Yes, you Willow. Now, we'll Dark Pulse. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, do I have another priority that hits the Gengar? I don't think I do. Ooh. Boy. I could have Dark Pulse again. Explosion. Okay. So, this is how it went last time, sort of. And now we'll go. Uh, what did he win? Uh, Heracross. Yeah, he went Heracross. Um, so against Heracross, I think I'll go into a zoom reel. Should deal a pretty good chunk. Oh, he went with drill. Okay. Um, yeah, we Aquatel definitely. And try to survive the hit. Yeah, we don't. Uh, never in a million times. So now we just hope that um, Drill Run doesn't crit and Rock Slide hits. Uh, yeah, Drill Run crit. It has a higher crit chance, so it's not that surprising. I don't consider that to be... Yeah, Pelipper doesn't survive that. Oh. Um, guys, I think we really need the um, really need Excadrill to survive that hit. Otherwise, we can deal with uh, the the drill. Yeah, that's the thing. So that last try was definitely really unlucky. Uh, we'll see what he do this time, and we start off with not a crit, just a high roll, okay? Um, he got the rocks up, but I think that's still fine. Willow, okay. Uh, we'll just... I think I'll do things a little... Um, no, we have to Dark Pulse, otherwise he won't heal. Okay, so... yeah... Another Dark Pulse. Nice. Okay. So Gengar is done with. And unfortunately our War Turtle also is. Uh, he went Heracross. So... Heracross we go into Azumarill. Damn it. He always... He switches up before me. Why? He shouldn't. He died first. Why should I switch first? Okay. Banking on the survival like last time. And we do it and we hit. And it survives now. <laughs> Boy. Oh. This is trial whatever, and I don't know if you notice in my voice, but I'm slowly losing hope. Um, okay, so he expanded the potion. That's actually a good start. <laughs> um, now he goes for the Gengar, so we switch into the War Turtle. Yeah, Willow misses. That's like best case scenario. Okay, you get a crit. Okay, he will heal up. 
this we knock off okay and since he doesn't have anything left to survive we just deal with it yeah okay so never never arrived at this stage of the game like with war turtle alive we'll just vacuum wave to just chip this guy he locks himself into close combat okay um the way we're going to deal with this is going to into pelipper and air cutting of course we survive because we resist the hit and he should die yes okay nice one hit ko on the hair cross now comes the tentacruel uh, am i faster than it uh, i don't think i am so let's just quick attack yeah that's all basically nothing okay um how do i do the tentacruel i just go into zap strike huh? i mean uh the ones ones he has alive are Krogunk, Beedrill, and Tentacruel. Because Heracross, Matung, and Gengar are out. Okay. So I don't really need the Needle Queen besides this guy. So. Uh, he still has grounded poison types. So Toxic Spikes won't do anything. We get the Para. The yes, yes, that's what I wanted. That's why I didn't go into into Zap Striker first. Okay, so from this range, Zap Striker should kill, and it should be faster since he's parried. Good, nice, 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 nice. Okay, uh, if he goes into Pedril like he did. I think it's my best interest to just T-wave it and try to survive as much hits as possible. Though, yeah, I get one shot by the poison jab, to be expected. And now it all comes down if I survive this hit. I don't, he created me again. Dreads. Okay. The thing is, I don't think I have any way to improve the team with what I have available at the start of the game. So <laughs> I'm basically stuck with this team. I think this is the best possible team I can bring to this battle. I just have to hope that things align my way, basically. In some sort of way of the stars that all align together and we get a really perfect battle basically <laughs> okay um yeah that helped nothing to the tentacle and he left the gengar alive which is kind of a bummer and uh, so what we'll do is something like this. We go into Needle Queen, we body slam. We don't get burned. Uh, we basically die to the scold. Okay. And now let's hope that we... Zeb Strike can one shot it. Yes, okay. At least that's something. So now comes the hair cross. How do I deal with the hair cross? I don't. Do I? Uh, let me see. I don't think I need Meryl at this point of the game. So uh, Zap Striker might be useful. So let's go into Azumarill. He locks himself into Earthquake this time okay uh, that's not ideal but it's also not that bad uh, we'll go for air cutter he goes into Krogunk. nice he bolts up but he's dead yes okay 
Uh, he goes into Gengar. Uh, do I survive a Gengar? With Venus Shock, I do. Okay. Um, <laughs> he goes into Beedrill. Let's assess the situation. Uh, he has a Heracross. Uh, how do I do with the Heracross now? Basically... Basically, I have to have Pelipper high HP. So... What I do is sack the, the Zap Striker here. your job thank you and now we hope for the survive okay okay we get the KO nice uh, so he only has the Heracross remaining what will he lock himself into um, he'll probably lock himself into Close combat. I have to have Pelipper high HP. Night Slash. No! You weren't supposed to do that! No! Night Slash has a high crit chance! Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I quick attack. I quick attack. No! <laughs> I'm so miserable right now. <laughs> Guys, I'm still mentally recovering from last trial. Ah. Okay. Willow hits, of course, because it's like... 95% hit chance against me. <sighs> okay. He's low. We'll knock off. Great. We hit the tentacle on the switch. Best case scenario. Okay. Um, so... He has the sticky web up, so we have to go into this first. Yeah, we have the body slam. Okay, we get the para. Some luck. Um, I think I'll do something good. Possibly dumb. But oh well, let's experiment. We'll sack the Azumarill right here. Zumeril basically does nothing besides beat the Metank early game. Uh, we'll go for Aqua Ring, because why not? Okay, sure. Um, and now... Now, now... What we'll do is... Flame Charge once. He paralyzed. Okay. Um, flame charge twice. Ooh, I got lucky. Okay, so Zeb Striker basically will hit anything that comes out. Heracross. Uh, we'll flame charge it and die to the earthquake. Okay. So now, but now he's locked into Earthquake, so we can bring in the Pelipper. Pelipper Oko's it, and if he brings in the Gengar, basically don't have to deal with that anymore. Yes, okay. 
So now comes the Gengar. Gengar is quite the problem, but it's dealt with. Nice. Okay. Um, so now comes the Crow Gank. He doesn't kill me. Nice. Uh, I mean, let's talk about. Yeah, he suckers. Okay, I think I can survive the Sucker Punch now. I can survive the Sucker Punch now. Um, we have to go into this and pray that we can kill it. Nice, okay. So it all comes down to uh, the Excadrill surviving, basically. Guys, did you see that he used a Mega Bonk to to Mega Evolve the Beedrill? A Mega Bonk. I don't even know what that means. Mega Bonk. No! Guys, I googled. I know what a Mega Bonk, what a Bong is. And it's quite appropriate given that he's a hippie. Yeah, okay. Makes hella sense. But what doesn't make hella sense is this Aquatail missing. Uh, okay. There goes the Matang. Here comes the Gengar. As always, we switch in into the War Turtle. He's going to Willow and hit because he always hits. Will Dark Pulse. As he Vino shocks, now he'll heal the Gengar and we Dark Pulse again. But he still has the thingy, we knock off, he kills us. And we'll go into the. What? We'll go into the what? Yeah. This seems nice. We'll bite. We'll bite, but we don't bark. <laughs> okay. Um. Now comes the tentacruel, as expected. Okay. So now we get the. No, we don't get the fair. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh. Not quite seeing the way out of this hole at the moment. But oh well. No, I, I see how this goes. So I'll go into Zap Striker and Spark will crit. Yeah, that's how we do it. It doesn't crit. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Good job, Zap Striker. Heracross, uh, what do you do? Close combat. Great. Um, close combat. So we can basically go into the Pelipper. Ooh, do we survive with the rocks? We do. Okay. Nice. Um, there goes the Air Cutter. He goes into the Crow Gunk. And. Since he might sucker, we'll go for the recovery. Do you sucker? You bulk up. Okay, that's the other option. Now we are cutter as he poison jabs. And. No, he has a defense boost. I can't do that. Uh, we'll go for the heal until. He goes for the Sucker Punch. He went for the Poison Jab once again. So we'll go for the Heal once again. Oh, he goes into Beedrill. Uh, uh, let's sack Zoomeril. Yeah, use your Bonk. I mean... That's probably why he's winning, right? Because he's high. Right? That has to be it. I don't see <laughs> any... Uh, 
Sorry guys, this is just me rambling at this time because <laughs> I'm basically <laughs> so over this battle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I mean, does the quick attack do it? Yes. Uh, I don't think that crit mattered. Mega Bidrill's defenses are quite literal trash. And we finally did it, guys. Ah, oh. We finally did it. Oh, God. Man, I lost. How did you like my Bidrill, though? I didn't. I hated it. It was awful. Uh. So we get the Stinger Badge. Stinger, 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 Stinger Badge. Uh, so let me just do something like that. And uh, uh, where is it? By the magic of editing. Ta da! And we got Vino Shock. Oh. Uh, guys, I'm just decompressing after this battle. <laughs> so, uh, besides this episode being these minutes long, I'm actually recording for one hour and a half already. That's way too much. That's way more than usual. So, <laughs> we'll leave things here and uh, there's something spicy, spicy happening right now right after this battle so stick around for that we'll see what it is in the next episode squid jetting out <laughs>